guys, <clears throat> this your girl Hawaii Nani coming to you with a video vlog uh, tonight, and uh, I'm hoping that my video works okay. Um, and y'all excuse me, uh, my parents. I uh, just got done um, washing my face. It's late. Um, I hadn't really sat down and talked with you guys in quite some time. But this here is going to be a vlog of. Um, my situation um as you guys know i have to go back to court this time is about uh for the charges they police or whatever um put against me i am going to be going to court for my trial on friday and right now i don't know what the outcome may be being this is my first offense with any situation with um being charged with to contribute to the of a minor slash neglect. Um, yeah, I am really dreading this time. Um, let me scoot up a little bit, guys. I am a nervous wreck. I don't know what the outcome may be now that I don't have a lawyer because we couldn't afford a lawyer at this point in time. So at this point, I, I'm giving all this to God and and hoping and hopefully hoping it comes out in um in a good term for me. Um, I do have my kids. Um, I just haven't with all this the court crap, the charges. It's just really took a toll on me and my family. Well, me and my husband and. Um, we are getting through it each day right now. Like I stated before, I don't know what they're gonna do as far as the charges. They, I don't know if it's gonna be that if I'm gonna have to pay a fine or am I gonna be locked up for a, a year or am I gonna have to do both? Um, probation or whatever, I don't know yet. Trial uh, hasn't, won't begin to Friday. And I'm asking for all your prayers um, that this crap will be thrown out. But um, I don't know. Um, I am a little strategic. Yeah, I got my glasses on. I'm a little nervous on my situation um being that they charged me five counts and being that this is would be my first offense if this um is going to go any further than jail time i don't know but that's my biggest fear right now is them putting me in jail um with that being said, I, if I'm not on YouTube, you know what happened. I will have my husband to make, if that if that's the worst care scenario, that will be what my husband and I will be. I will have my husband to do a uh, updated video for me and upload it to YouTube and give you guys feedback on any situation if it comes out to be that serious. Um, but again, this is just uh, a thing I'm letting you guys know that if I'm not around or doing any videos, that's what has happened. Um, again, I go on Friday to court. Either way, it goes whether if it's jail time, probation. None of this to, none of this should be. Um, going on and the fact of the matter is I don't think that this is basically fair for me at all because uh, I don't own this complex and it led up to <clears throat> these permanent conditions and stuff like that is led up to where they were not they wasn't or isn't doing their job to inspect to take care of these apartments um, I spent a great amount of money um, in this 
apartment doing what I can to make sure it stays decent. Now this is my space, my office. This is where I spend my time um, when I'm doing my makeup, <laughs> um, when I'm doing my um, vlogging. And right now then you'll see my kids in here. Right now they're all asleep because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. That's cool. Um, I know I need to be asleep uh, within itself. But uh, I just wanted to come through really quick and give you guys uh, a vlogging update. And uh, if I'm not here to do any videos, you guys know my circumstances. And uh, if you have any questions um, for Friday, and if you don't see me come here on a video on Monday, then you know my situation. Um, I just want you guys to keep praying for me and my family that it doesn't come down to this uh, situation. Right now, I've been trying to hold it together, guys, but I don't know what these people are planning on doing. And people are like, oh, well, you're just going to get this and you're just going to get The justice system can be very, very shady. If that makes sense, um, very shysty. And I uh, personally, I don't suggest this, especially here in Mississippi. And all I know is opinions alone. And this. And I will hopefully keep you guys updated. If not, if I'm not on YouTube my husband I will tell my husband give him the opportunity to um, make an updated video on my situation um, I don't know if you guys or anybody that has a law degree or you know anything about the law affiliated with any statutes in Mississippi um, I do have the contribute to neglect excuse me let me rephrase that contribute to delinquent of a minor neglect um, there's five counts which is I have five children and then that is so many I was told that I that it's a possible possible a prosecutor as he tries to basically scare me said that I could get up to a year in jail and I um, also read that it's a thousand dollar fine um, right now I don't know and all I'm asking guys is for your prayers hold me up in, in God's hands right now and um, yeah it's been a lot of things that I haven't been able to do lately and if you if, if you feel like um, that I um, haven't been in your channel or haven't commented on your videos or anything do not feel it's not my fault because YouTube my computer is um, been on a hiatus it's been tripping uh, but I, I do tend to try to get to you guys' videos. I might not always comment on them, but I do watch them or like them if they're able to like. Okay. Um. But yeah, I do have uh, a, a, one more makeup tutorial that I would like to do for you guys. Um. Yeah, for you guys. And like I said, if I'm not here on Monday or Tuesday within that time frame, you know where I stand with the court. Um, I don't know what the situation is. If I am put on probation or whatever the charges they are gonna, the judge is going to do, then that's good and dandy, but it's still bad on my part because that means I will have to probably have to pay a thousand dollar fine, which that's money we don't have, you know. But I'm pretty sure they're probably going to break it down to small payments that we could pay on, but still that's just money that we can't always afford. Because we the kids we have, all the kids we have, and um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna go. I don't want to make it a long vlog. I just want to give you guys a heads up on my situation. Um, again, May 17th, 
I will attend court my trial. And, and I stated before, if I'm not back on Monday or any other day, I will give my husband uh, inform, in, to inform my husband to let you guys know what's going on and let him make a video for me on my behalf and update you guys on my situation um, if I'm not here. But I'm praying that I do be here. I still don't see why I have to go through this. But um, I know God isn't going to put on what I couldn't bear, I couldn't handle. I'm trusting in Him. I'm believing in Him. Because I know He's there for me. And I know He's walking beside me. He's not going to leave me or forsake me. Um, I just know the justice system is screwy with people and regardless of if it's a, if it's the first offense or, or not they don't know the outcome of the situation but all i know is cops can make up some lame excuse like they stated that i had fry uh, excuse me that i had flies in the house in the, in the in the month of february now as i seen and been born and raised in the south in the month of february why it's really real cold i don't know flies be fly you might see one or two but don't flies do not you don't see flies flying in the month of February and it's real cold. Flies are somewhere where they like to be warm, where it's warm and where they can get a place um I'm sorry, when they have to fly in the atmosphere, it's too cold to fly. They're not gonna be flying. I'm just just like the grass don't grow in the winter time. Or the the flowers some flowers don't bloom in the winter time. That's just me, but I don't have no flies in my apartment. So that's another thing that they came and made up and put on on the report. Um all that stuff. I just want to let you guys know if you have, uh, you know, advice on my statue, uh, uh, what you think in mind, let me know. And please, guys, no, don't, I don't, I just want to be a positive, I want this to be a positive video. I don't need any negativity or I delete you and block you. I, don't, I really don't have time for that. I just, I'm just, I, I, right now, this is it's just a moment for me to vent and let go of what's going on. Let my subscribers know what's going on. If I'm not around, please don't feel like I'm disregarding you or ignoring you. I'm to right now where I have to get my life on track with these people. And I'm just letting you guys know what's going on and what is my obligations because like I said we do not have a lawyer and I did call the courthouse asking what are my choices if I am not able to afford a lawyer I know they said they can appoint a lawyer to me for me in my defense but being that it's so late in the game I mean I don't have the support from my family like my brother has had when he was going in and out of the courtroom. This is my first time doing or had anything put upon me in my entire life. And I don't know what the statutes of my limitation, what I have to do to get my life back together. Because none of this crap is, is not right. And this is just my opinion and speaking that I'm not a bad mother. I never was and I never neglected my kids. But that's something that the court system, the police officers, and me being a woman of color and this is just me in my opinion and being that, that that amount of police officers at my door makes them look like a bunch of asses because the prosecutor did state or asked me why were why were there so many officers at your apartment I said well you tell me sir I'm a hundred and fifty some pounds I have a three-year-old child who's attached to my hip what threat could I possibly pose to these police officers and what why was there so many of them if they were just you know two or you know maybe one or two that's fine but there were a whole swarm of police officers at my door which was very un unnecessary for that night even the social worker herself the black social worker said that was uncalled for for that amount of police officers to be at my door for a situation that could dealt been dealt with with just two officers or whatever I wasn't a threat to anybody I didn't act a donkey I was calm I was upset and crying but I wasn't acting a donkey I was just trying to figure out what was going on and talking to them letting them know what was why and you know what the hell did I do or I'm not the I'm we're not the Brady Bunch we don't live in these people don't fix nothing up out here it's not our fault that they don't fix their, their they don't they're not doing their job on their behalf to fix anything in these apartments but yet we're paying rent and like I said they had they had not fixed my air conditioner 
they have not fixed my stove. None of that. And they put a big hole in my wall for plumbing to fix my plumbing. My mother had to call the state of Alabama, who owned who owns this complex, in order for them to put something over that hole that they took, which they didn't even sheetrock. They just put a big board, some screws in it, and left it at that. Refused to actually refused to fix my wall. Okay, and um, that's another video. But I just wanted to give you guys uh, my updates on my situation, and I'm gonna go. And I'll have a wonderful and blessed week.